Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. In this video, I'm going to show you installation of SXI version 6 in uh, VMware Workstation. I'm still using the RC version because the full version was not released yet. But uh, it's uh, practically going to be the same, I'm sure. Uh, we need two CPUs and uh, I'm going to put 8 gigs of RAM. Also, I'm going to choose the host only networking as I already set up the networking in my workstation uh, configuration. So it's completely separated from my physical network. So the installation is practically the same like in version 5.0 or 5.5 .5, even before. So the installer is loading the image. See I can create a virtual lab in workstation. Video gonna get uh, speed up a little bit because um, otherwise uh, we will be just watching. Yeah, here I'm gonna set up the VMnet 2 network as uh, all the other VMs are using this VMnet 2 network. So the vCenter 6 and the other one is 66.0.1. 01 is using the VMnet network as well. So like this, all the VMs are separated from the physical network and can communicate together. I'm not using any fancy routing or something. All VMs stays on the same network just to make it as simple as possible. So you have to choose a password for the installation. And after you're going to choose the data store. And that's about it. Installation it's pretty fast. It takes only a minute or two. In this series of videos I'm going to show you the I already showed you the installation of vCenter vCenter is uh, okay hit F on F11 vCenter uh, is um, like in the previous versions available in Windows version as and also as a Linux appliance it's a SUSE Linux virtual appliance which is very easy to deploy and install so just check the disconnect the ISO and uh, the system will reboot so we can enter the configuration As I said, the vCenter Linux appliance uh, is uh, much more robust than in the previous release and uh, can provide the same functionalities than the Windows version actually. This has been uh, in the past quite an issue because, uh, for example, vCenter in linked mode could only, only be used in uh, the Windows version, so uh, in the version 6 of VMware vSphere, this uh, is also available in the VCSA. Okay, let's jump to the configuration. Password. And uh, configure the management network. 
I'll set the static IP. Oops. Okay. Submit mouse. Okay. Default display. Okay. I can disable IPv6 because I'm not using it in the lab. DNS. It's fine. Just a host name. Okay, that's it. We can reboot and uh, host uh, shell Rita in this configuration after the reboot. Uh, so we will be able to join this host uh, into vCenter that we installed in the first video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.